there's SBNID 1985. No incriminating pictures of me in the 80s. <laughs> I bet half of those guys like Bono are cringing when they look at uh, Live Aid, aren't they? Because they look like a bunch of whatever, didn't they? But, mate, you wear a suit very well. Well, thank you. Well, the suit. thing is, I guess with a suit, it's, it's important that it, it supports you. That it That's fits right. exactly, that That's in the right. waist, the shoulders, that the, the, the sleeves have like the, the exact length. That's right. So it's, it's like a second skin. I mean, you look like a more stylized pop a rock star, more stylized, and you don't look as um, generic as a lot of them look these days. <laughs> it's good to see. And also, people don't realize tailoring's a great way to express individuality. Yeah. Which is where a lot of people get it wrong because they think they've got to be wild and outrageous. Yeah, yeah, but and it's... they think they're being edgy by it, but really tailoring is a great way to present contemporary style. I don't wear all the the handmade suits live because they, I they're ruined because you sweat a lot. Well, that's the other around. problem, so isn't it? Of course, the amount. You I sweat. buy certain ones to for concerts that I say, okay, yeah, these yeah. and these and these and these ones, I will buy them for uh, to play, and after a while, they're just like trashed. And the other thing we could we should think about we could do for you in the future we could do a nice waistcoat trout and you could come on with a nice cape on. No. Well fabric, I mean that's, that's a great fabric but in fact it almost goes back a bit to that whole 60s feeling where yeah. they would have they started to use almost like furnishing fabrics mm -hmm. and fabrics that wouldn't be normally perceived as fabrics yeah, yeah, that you yeah. would use. I mean Hendrix and stuff when they first started to experiment with more contemporary fabrics exactly like with shops like Granny Takes a Trip on the King's Road they were doing that, they were almost using like furnishings or fabrics and that's what this has got that feel yeah. to it hasn't it? And the guy who, who makes these, it's like Dries van Noten is his name. And he, I know Dries van Noten, yeah. very talented, very talented designer. Absolutely and he, he ships his fabrics all over the world, he ships them fabric. to Pakistan to yeah. have them embroidered or yeah. whatever and yeah. to, to kind of try to make something uh, with a lot of personality. It's always, like you said, inspired by. by yeah, um, the Dries Van Noten's style has always been influenced by nostalgia. Yeah. He's very much, he does very ni much like what I do. He'll mm. move it to a 30s, 40s, 50s, or 60s. Absolutely. Thing. But then he'll make it his own. He'll take the source of influence from that yeah. and then update it. The thing is with me, because I'm a sort of from London, I always associate with the gangster thing, which is a little bit boring, but I suppose it's an edge a lot of people haven't got. So. There you are. I did the Craze Twins, they're quite famous, sort of British gangsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. That's the cape, yeah. That's the yeah, cape at the back. yeah. So the idea of that cape, when I did that styling, was basically almost the idea of a pop star in the 60s going James to the Brown opera. James Brown with his cape yeah, coming yeah. up. And or even <clears throat> Mick Jagger going to the opera, instead of wearing a normal long opera cape, because it's 60s, it's three quarter length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very portrait of Dorian Gray, you know, Oscar Wilde, that sort of thing. So we take a picture of me and the main man. Absolutely. I'll take the glasses. Keep got to get the glasses off. Can't do them with glasses. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, that's nice. Looks Absolutely. quite cool with the lights going. Yeah. Chest God, he towers up. over me though, doesn't he? It's like when I stand with Bradley Wiggins. <laughs> Let's put you on a little box. Oh, don't stop. No, Give me the little man complex. <laughs> no. Nice to see you.